Scott, I know you were looking forward to be a part of the postseason with this team. Just how frustrated are you by what's transpired over the last couple of days? <clears throat> yeah, um, obviously very, you know, disappointed and frustrated. Um, you know, but it's it's baseball. These things happen. Uh, just kind of disappointed. I won't be able to go out there and help the team. But um, you know, this this team, this bullpen specifically, has been you know super resilient all year. So. Um, you know, whoever gets the ball um, in the bullpen out there, you know, tonight and the, throughout the series, I know will do a great job. So, shows I was out there to kind of, you know, be able to help them out. The uh, left center aisle, Laura. Uh, could you just tell us uh, what you felt after the Orioles game and then Friday after uh, batting practice? Yeah, it was <clears throat> um, just like mild soreness, I thought, you know, just kind of end of the year, um, normal soreness and um really since then it just kind of stayed and lingered um really no no specific event kind of triggered it um we thought we were staying on top of it at top of it and i felt you know pretty good to keep keep throwing and go out there and um i think what we kind of just came to was it was just staying around for a little too long and we decided to get it checked out not thinking it would be you know as major as it was but um you know the pictures came back and obviously got the unfortunate news but um you know i Really, there was no one specific like moment or pitch or anything that kind of I, I was you know tipped off to this happening. So, did you go into the MRI thinking that could be a possibility, or were you completely taken off guard? I was I was a little taken back, honestly. I mean, obviously, you know, whenever you go in there, there's a possibility of finding something <laughs> you don't want to see. But um, you know, for me, I think I think it was kind of shocking. Obviously, you know, I think every pitcher kind of thinks it's shocking hearing that news. But um, yeah, I was you know truly not expecting that. Any questions for Scott? Uh, Ron, we'll get you the mic. Uh, did the MRI just show the ulnar was torn or anything else in there? Uh, yeah, just the ulnar. And you know when surgery and who's going to do it? Uh, still still going over that, but, you know, as soon as possible. I just want to get it in and, you know, start the rehab process as soon as possible. And but. when was the MRI? Saturday? Uh, yeah, this weekend. And you got the results back the same day? Yeah, yeah, we went through it. Um, but uh, yeah, still uh, still going over the surgery details. But you know, like I said, get in there as soon as possible and start the rehab. We'll go to Brian in the third row. Scott, you mentioned still being confident in the guys in this bullpen. What do you like specifically about uh, the way the relief shapes up? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think since I've been here, um, you know, we've had a lot of shifting parts, a lot of moving parts. You know, guys going down, guys coming back, and really just everyone down there has been super resilient. Um, everyone's taken the ball, um, when they needed to and go out there and done their job. And, you know, part of that also, you know, is the starting pitching has been great. So, you know, I'm expecting the same thing, you know, moving forward and, you know, obviously, you know, whoever gets, like I said, whoever gets the ball, you know, I'm very confident in, so it'll, it'll be fun to watch, um, as a fan now, I guess. And obviously I'll cheer them on, but like I said, you know, obviously disappointing not to be able to be out there and join them. Go to Bob, see it against the wall. On your right, Scott. Scott, what is the uh, the timeline now for your recovery? Um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I've known people who've gone through it, so I kind of know the general timeline of, I guess, you know, 12 to 18 months, but um, we haven't really nailed that down yet. I guess that depends on when we get the surgery started, but, you know, obviously want to get out there as safely and as soon as possible but um you know i know it'll take some time and um i trust the training staff here um to kind of help me with that we'll go to susan and then barry have you talked to some of the guys like jameson or severino about this and who else have you talked to about the recovery and what it takes <clears throat> yeah um i have and and the support i've gotten in this clubhouse so far um has been really really remarkable so um, a lot of guys have been through it, like Jamison, like you mentioned. Um, the guys I've played with in Chicago have kind of reached out and, and talked to it, who've gone through it as well. So um, I'll definitely lean on them a lot to, to kind of ask questions if I need to. But um, like I said, those guys have been great so far. I'll stay there with Barry. Hey, Scott. Uh, any plans for a second opinion? You know, there's some pretty good surgeons out west where you, you started this year. Uh, sure, yeah, we're, st we're still kind of going through that process, I guess. Anything else for Scott? All right, Scott, wishing you all the best in your recovery. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.